As Nigeria marks its 64th Independence Day, Yenagoa residents have expressed mixed feelings over celebrations. According to most respondents, Nigeria is not where it should be, but however, praise the leaders for tremendous progress made so far. Trustee Friday Bimoboe Peter has the report. Nigeria got her independence on October 1st, 1960, and 64 years down the line, Nigeria still believes, despite many setbacks such as flood, insurgency, agitations, and climate change, the country has made appreciable progress in the provision of infrastructure. They also paid glowing tribute and extolled the immense contribution of the founding fathers. Where we are, we are supposed to be far more than where we are. The purpose of our freedom fighters that ensure that Nigeria must be together, their reasons, their purpose has been defeated. This is not what they dreamed for. The likes of Enam Dazikwe, Bafame Awolowo, and all that you, are, you can call. While we, we agree that they, they, they worked so hard for the creation of the state and for the advancement of the state, some of them also worked very hard to keep us the way we are. It, it's, it's just unimaginable that we have gotten to where we are today as a country. At 64, we should be close to an advanced nation. But rather, we have retrogressed beyond even a third world country. That is the situation we are in. These men you just mentioned were great men that, who, that met well for this country called Nigeria. You know, in their days, they were tall, they were respected all over the world. Wherever they go, they know these people are Nigerian. But for some political pundit, the country needs rebirth that will accommodate all divergent interests and creates a room that will address the plight of the common man. In the then days, we are talking of farm. Cocoa was in the south, in the north there was granuts, in the east there was even coal. And this thing we are using in developing Nigeria, but today, everybody fall back to the oil from the Niger Delta. We all wait for the revenue from the federal, but whereas it comes from the Niger Delta, the oil wells is what everybody is looking at to survive in Nigeria. That is why we cannot move forward. If all of us can look deep into what we produce in Nigeria, what we have in our various states, to tap into those uh, resources, God-given resources, Nigeria will not be where we are today. People were also producing, the Meslin was in Portacot, where they were producing tires. Today, there is no place in Nigeria they are producing vehicle tires. So, when you are only a consumer without production, you can't move forward. Nigeria has faced agitations for self-determination from many socio-cultural groups. Analysts, however, believe that the best way is move on as one indivisible entity. From Yenagua, Friday, Ibimobowe Peter, Trust TV News.